One of the biggest trends of 2020 has been oversized 90s style sweaters. The only trouble is that when you're already quite small, extra extra small is still too big. So I'm going to take mine in and make it a bit more proportionate to me. For this project you're going to need your fabric shears, some pins, some sewing thread, some tailor's chalk and your tape measure. If you have an overlocker that'll help give you a nice professional clean finish on the inside as well. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is hitch up the shoulder so that the seam is roughly where I think it should be. This isn't a precise measurement, it's just a matter of taste and comfort. That'll be about right. No? No, no. It's a bit too big. take it off and we're going to go to the table and prepare it for sewing. So here we have a slightly mangled looking sweater that I'm going to take in. First thing I'm going to do is measure how much this pleat is that I've taken and write it down. So that is, we'll call it an inch. So I can take that pin out. And then I'm going to measure all the other pins. I'm going to work inside out. Here's my chalk. I'm going to cut off the side seam. Try and cut as close to it as you can, so that will make your measurements more accurate. You don't have to cut all the way down the sleeve. I might do later, but I'm not sure yet. And I'm going to cut the sleeve off. to make a note of where the top of the sleeve goes. Because you're going to have to match it up later. So I'm just going to notch in there. There, there's a little notch so that I can get the sleeve put in properly later. So now we have the sweater laid out, I'm going to measure in along the shoulder seam the amount that I was going to take up. So that was an inch total, no, an inch on the pleat. So that's two inches altogether. Then on the body, I'm going to mark in on the side seam the measurements I took along there. An inch, an inch, and two inches. I'm going to smooth that out. Now, we're going to have to draw in a new armhole because I don't want it ending all the way down here. It's going to end up somewhere up here. Do 
not cut on this line, this is the stitching line. So what you can do is mark out a centimetre or so from that and cut along that if you want. So that looks about right. Now I'm going to take my shears So now repeat for the other side. Actually, what I'm going to do to do the other side is take it along the centre matching the shoulder seams and use that as a guide. So that's the body ready to be sewn. We'll put that aside for a minute and work on the sleeves. So I marked the top of the sleeve with a notch. I'm going to cut this bit further down. Trim off that seam and all to make it even. I don't like the shape of this sleeve, so I am going to hollow it out at the front of it. And also at the back, I think, just to smooth it off. make the other one match. So now get the body back we'll do the left one first. I'm 
match up the shoulder notch to the seam. Right sides together. And pin at a centimeter in, or half an inch, whatever your seam allowance was. Follow it round to the back. Then repeat for the other sleeve. Matching the shoulder notch to the shoulder seam. So now we're at the overlocker and I'm just sewing the sleeves on in the new position with a one centimeter seam allowance. So I've sewn the sleeves in, but now we have this horrible jump and we obviously can't have that. So I'm going to pin a new seam line from about half an inch in there or about a centimeter. Taper it towards the bottom. And match it up. You're going to have to pin along here as well with the same seam allowance. There, and now it's ready to sew. If you have a sewing machine, you can just use a straight stitch and then zigzag over the edge. But I'm going to use my overlocker because it's quicker. Overlockers are brilliant when they work, but every so often they decide not to. Like now, we've decided to chew up at every time I try to sew that seam. So I'm on the sewing machine. Turn the seam with a straight stitch, and now I'm going to overcast it. Look at all that. What happened to my overlockers? They're just demons. The good thing about sewing machines compared with overlockers is that you just have a lot more control and in the form of an unpicker you basically have an undo button. So 
it's all done now. I think it's a much better fit and I should be able to put my coat on without it rooting right up and being really uncomfortable. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below.